Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, we have collaborated with Savage Mine, a super knowledgeable, thorough, and down to earth crypto mining YouTuber. Seriously, he's a really smart dude. You guys should go sub to him right now. Link down below. We are going to show you today how to sign and verify a blockchain message through the Ravencoin network, okay? So we're going to be doing it through the Ravencoin core wallet. So I'll show you guys that on the end. But I'm going to have Savage Mind take over and explain why someone would want to do this. And it involves Satoshi Nakamoto. So take it away, Savage Mind. One of the things that gets said whenever someone wants to say that someone else, whoever it is, needs to prove that they're Satoshi Nakamoto is, hey, why don't you just sign a message from the Genesis address, right? Now, that's kind of difficult, but I'll get into that in a few minutes. That's what we're gonna kind of talk about tonight or go over. I'm gonna, we're gonna kind of walk through the process of what you would do or what Satoshi would do in order to prove identity prove that they are Satoshi. And even uh, if you look at, there were some tweets here, even CZ from Binance tweeted about it. You know, the real Satoshi can digitally sign any message to prove to prove it. This is as simple as breathing for him or her and we have the public key. Until then, everyone is Satoshi except Craig Wright. <laughs> Love it. All right, so even CZ was getting in on that. And as far as the Genesis block that he's referring to, the thing that some people don't understand is like Satoshi had probably thousands of wallets, okay? There's not just one wallet with 980,000 uh, 980, uh, uh, Bitcoin in it. They're spread out over lots of different wallets. I think that he, they even stated in the white paper that to increase anonymity, you could or should use a different address for each transaction, right? So you can imagine that if the Bitcoin creator says that, then obviously they're not going to put 980,000 Bitcoin in one wallet. It's just not going to happen. So there are some that are identified as for sure being a Satoshi wallet, so to speak. And this address right here, I believe, is the original address. And the reason I say it, well, actually, so this one is, this address is called the Genesis of Bitcoin. I think that if someone was to sign because of the age of this address here and how, you know, how old it is and, and all that. And, and if you're wondering like, wait a minute, I see like recent activity here, right? Well, the reason is, is that people know that this is a Satoshi wallet and they actually make donations to it. Right, like kind of a kind of a historical record of their of a person donating to uh, Satoshi. So it's kind of cool, you know, that they do that. And right now, you can see that there is. If you go down through here, there's no um, out, outputs from this wallet. There's only inputs, I believe, from what I saw. You can actually see right here. It calls the, it calls this block or that address. It calls it the genesis of Bitcoin, and it, and you'll see unspent next to every one of those addresses, right. Um, or this address, right? This is the address that sends to this address. This is another address, and I believe that this one was the first address that Satoshi used to send the first 50 BTC to Hal Finney. I believe that this is, this is the wallet. So if you scroll down here to the bottom, you can actually see no inputs, and this is the oldest one. This is from January 9th of 2009, and it's no inputs, newly generated coins. So that means um, Coinbase, that means that they were mined, right? So mined coins went to this address right here, but they were spent, right? Because this address was owned by Satoshi, and they sent they sent this 50 BTC to Hal Finney. This is Hal Finney's address here. So my point is, is that if a message was signed with this address, was digitally signed and sent from some whoever signing it to anyone else, and they were able to successfully verify that message, guess what? That person is now Satoshi because no one has access to this except Satoshi, supposedly. Now, obviously there's all this other stuff that could happen. You know, you could have a situation where I don't know, maybe they, the, the 
private keys were locked in a safe and someone found them and found out it was, you know, obviously you can't actually say that the person is Satoshi just because they signed it, but there's a pretty good confidence that there would, that there would be because, you know, who else would be able to do that, right? I mean, but there's all kinds of different scenarios that, that could um, taint that actual action. So, uh, but the cool part is, is that we can actually demonstrate what would be done or what Satoshi would be doing. Now, I only downloaded, um, I tried to download the Bitcoin. I don't run a full node of, uh, of Bitcoin. I should, but I don't. The, the blockchain for Bitcoin is 250 gig. <laughs> so um, it's, that's a huge amount of uh, space for me right now. So I didn't want to sync the whole blockchain. And I think with the Bitcoin QT wallet, the desktop wallet, I believe that you have to at least, I don't know how far you have to sync, but you can't let it be brand new and generate an address and then be able to successfully sign. I don't think it'll let you do that, but the Ravencoin wallet does. And Ravencoin wallet is a basically a QT wallet, very similar to the Bitcoin wallet. So we're just gonna use this as the example. Uh, and what I intend on doing is digitally signing or cryptographically signing a message. And then I'm gonna send that message in an email to Red Panda Mining. So let's do it. I don't know, this is kind of neat. To me, this is cool. All right, so, uh, so what they would do, uh, Satoshi would go to, they would open up their core wallet that had that address the you know for example if they if they had this address here so my address here in this wallet would be something like um, this right here so I met, I created an, an address and this would be the same this would look very similar to what uh, Satoshi would be seeing in his wallet in their wallet um, so if you double click on it so um, now I have that address copied to the clipboard right so their address the Satoshi address would be the one that I just highlighted over there on the, the web page. So it would look like this. Now you would have to use, now clearly, I hope that people understand that you would have to use the Bitcoin Core wallet. You couldn't use the Raven Core wallet to do this. This is just an example. Um, but they would click File, Sign Message, and then the address. So picture this. So this address right here. So I'm, I, if I was Satoshi, I would be using the Bitcoin Core wallet and I would put this address right there into this block. And then I would type in here, I am Satoshi, right? Or you could, you could type whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna say I am not Satoshi. And then you would click sign message. And then it's gonna put this cryptographic hash down here and this, you have to send all of this. Now the person that you're communicating with probably already has your receiving address because that's why they're validating it, right? So if someone wanted to, someone to uh, prove that they had access to this address, then they would get them to digitally sign a message, which is what everybody always says about, about Satoshi. Like all they would have to do whenever they're talking about other people that are you know, saying that they are Satoshi, hey, if you want to prove you're Satoshi, then sign uh, a transaction or assign a message from this address, right? Uh, any one of the thousands of known Satoshi wallets, which, which also kind of clouds the whole process too, because what if, what if someone has access to one of those thousands of, of wallets, maybe Satoshi, you know, transferred it to someone or, or told someone that, and, and that wallet has 0.00001 uh, BTC in it, right? And then they digitally sign a message, but everybody thinks that it's Satoshi's wallet. You know what I mean? Like that's that's not gonna work, right? So we have to be careful of that. In this case, I am going to, so I already clicked sign. This is the message. You have to remember what you type in here, you know, because that's what we're validating. We're actually validating this text right here. So if you needed to validate someone's address, for example, they could type in their address here, right? Their physical address. And then you could verify that through the digital signing process. So I'm gonna say, I am not, Satoshi. All right. Now, um, and if I click sign, it's going to be the same down here. It's not going to change. Uh, if I change one character, then whenever I sign it, the cryptographic hash down here is going to change. All right? You see how that changed? So each time, there you go. All right.
So then I'm gonna copy this. So the message is important because you have to have that. Uh, but I'm gonna copy this cryptographic hash down here. I'm going to fire up an email, but I'm gonna send that email to Red Panda Mining, all right? So I'm going to send him that hash and I'm also gonna send him the text, right? So that he can verify it. All right, so all that is sent to Red Panda Mining. And if we wanted to verify the message, we could. So let me show you what he'll do on his end to verify. Whoa, 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 Savage Mine. All right, let me, let me take over here. I have to do the verifying message part. So you've already sent me and emailed me the three parts here that I'm going to have to verify on my end. So easy thing here. You guys can see I'm just on a virtual machine now with the Raven Core wallet installed. So I'm just going to go now to file and verify message. And here I can see what Savage Mind has said here and we're going to we're going to prove it by entering this in. So that is his address and this is the uh, cryptographic part here that I have to enter in here to verify this message which says I am not Satoshi. So I'm going to type that in. I am not Satoshi. So now I'm going to click verify message. Oh no. Message verification failed. So, what does that mean? I did a typo. So you guys may have noticed that this is all caps and Savage Mind also had that in all capitals. So uh, if I actually, you know, if I actually all change this to capitals, I am not Satoshi, then it should be message verified as you guys can see. Pretty cool, pretty interesting. I verified that Savage Mind is not Satoshi and this is something that, you know, Satoshi Nakamoto could have could have done but obviously that's that's not set so I hope you guys enjoyed this video pretty easy thing to do and if you guys wanted to try this out feel free you can do this either in the Bitcoin wallet or in the Ravencoin core wallet as well so thank you to Savage Mine for this video and for collaborating with me please everyone go subscribe to him he is an awesome guy very thorough very down-to-earth super knowledgeable i appreciate this guy so much everyone just please go check out savage mind and give him some love let me know in the comments what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and stay savage